50 knows, 50 knows, right? 50 knows. But let's keep it going, all right? So you know, me, I'm a guy who likes to give credit where credit is due. Now, credit is due in this situation because um, the artist known as Kendrick Lamar, he has finally used all Infinity Stones that he gathered by using Culture of Hip Hop, USA versus another country, Blacks versus Culture Vultures, um, Gang Culture, all that. I've said Kendrick has gathered the Infinity Stones. I'm a very good friend. Good friend. However, I have pointed out that a lot of people who are basking in his success and in the fact that he is now seen at a certain level, they have helped him to get there or supported him to get there, but they will not receive the same in reverse. Now, most of those people, to their credit, they all say it's fine. For example, you know, fans have pointed out, but not one person has appeared on that pop out stage, got an album shouted out. Yo, check out my man's single. He's dropping tonight. None of that. And all of them are cool with it. It, it. It's kind of, you know, to me, I think that's dope that all these guys he's still trying to run this narrative so so basically what he doing he just trying to make people go against kendrick he ain't shot he's he's boy he trying hard to push this narrative he's been saying this ever since the ever since the pop out right he just trying to make people go against him this shit crazy he's still pushing this narrative guys who are pretty much some guys are mid-level musicians or some are kind of on but you know not as that lit but, but there's a the bunch chat. of artists who are trying to get to that spot none of them reasonably expected kendrick lamar to use his newfound clout and fame to help their plight in music new fan? that's dope now kendrick has finally shouted someone out and nope Th this nigga act like kendrick is an underground rapper or something it why, why does this nigga act like he's a, 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 like, like this is his first album or something? Newfound fame after all the Grammys he done won after what? <laughs> Man, this dude act, boy, this, boy, this nigga something else. This dude act like Kendrick is now releasing his first album and nobody know about him. He been dropping mi mixtapes for the past 12 years. It's not mustard. Even though Mustard produced a song, what? it's not like us. Nope, it ain't Schoolboy Q. Even though Schoolboy Q was rocking heavily and we all know TD and everything. Nope, not all the mother niggas. Nope, okay. The first person Kendrick has shouted out or threw up on his Instagram because, you know, how hard is it, it to just, yo, repost my story or, yo, could you at least like my picture so that people could be like, oh, Kendrick likes this? It's kind of hard to do that though, you know what I mean? Especially when you're busy, you know, um, watching the party die. But the first person he did shout out is, let me see. Is Dochi. Okay. He posted a uh, Dochi and um, he basically said the hardest out. And I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I thought this was dope. And I got to give Kendrick a lot of credit for this. And the reason why I got to give him credit is hold on one second. Oh, okay. The reason why I got to give him credit is because, again, while he didn't shout out YG's album coming out, <laughs> Mustard's album coming out, Schoolboy Q putting out some stuff and also going on tour. Yeah. At least he's show, shouting out Deutsche, and Deutsche is a dope-ass artist. We agree, okay? You know, maybe he just wasn't, maybe he didn't have access to the phone for his other guys, right? <laughs> then it was revealed to me, well, <sighs> why did he finally shout somebody out? This nigga here. I said, well, no, he just likes the project. I said, nah, maybe that's not it. Or he does like the project, right? <laughs> Even though the project he shouted out, this album cover, this album cover, if you don't know too much about Deutsche, uh, it's, it's an album called Alligator Bites Never Heal. The album wasn't released last week he put this up last week it wasn't released last week the album was released back in august now why did he shout her out i'm getting to a point here chat just keep watching you'll notice you'll notice that this came after hold on hold on it came after deutsche appeared in the new pg lang ad which is this. I was ready to play ball. Yeah, I do feel you, but that quick New York, New time. Jersey. I'm here, man. I'm ready. Uh, look. Uh, New York City. I can tell the people want it. Yeah, I said that. Beach Boy Dre. Super shattered $4.99. Act really gonna be mad when he find out Kendrick and Dave Free working on a movie with South Park right they aiming for July 4th, 2025. Ouchie. Damn. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Oh man, yo, he man, he 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 gonna do anything for his rich baby daddy. Appreciate you with that five dollar donation.
He going to be mad when Kendrick and Dave Free are working on a movie with South Park writer. They aiming for July 4th, 2025. Damn, that's dope. If that's true, shh, can't wait to see it. <laughs> Yo, man, this dude is trying anything and everything to make people go against him, right? He been at this for about four months, man. This shit hell. Not the elevate the way I think, bro. Do what you tell you? Mm-hmm. In the beginning, everybody had a plan for my money, but then I realized I just gotta do my own thing. And don't get me wrong, I wanna monetize my career, but at the same time, I don't wanna be making moves that require me to do too much. I just wanna put the money to the side, not have to worry about it, but still know that it's growing. That's what you need to be doing. Change the way you think. So this was a uh Kendrick Lamar PG Lang um directed ad using Deutsche as pretty much a cameo, but it was made for Cash App. So this is kind of like a brand deal for the company done under the direction of PG Lang and Kendrick. Deutsche comes in. This is the first time Kendrick, so so her involvement in this, Kendrick gives her music a shout out um, by throwing up this this album that came out in December, not December, in August. Now, I don't need to like make the point here, but I want y'all to think about it. Again, I keep telling y'all Kendrick has garnered all the Infinity Stones. The culture loves him. He has the hottest current pop song or, or song that's in the club or whatever, where everybody's playing, not like us. He's the most anticipated. People think he's a realist. He's whatever, whatever. He's maxed out all the meters. He has all the Infinity Stones. We saw 500 niggas get up on on a pop-up stage with him. He don't give not one of their albums a shout out. Don't give not one of them a feature. <laughs> Nothing. I'm asking you this. When will the people who have supported Kendrick require the same of him support them? And see, not- see, basically, he just he just trying to gas up everybody to act like why y'all supporting Kendrick? Kendrick ain't supporting y'all. Y'all should y'all should you know snake him. Y'all should double cross him. He just he just trying to make people go against him. Bro, this shit ain't gonna work, bro. This shit ain't gonna work. And first of all, Kendrick ain't gotta do a motherfucker thing. He ain't obligated to do nothing to nobody. Like is 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 and and me, I wouldn't, I I would not want a whole bunch of hand me hand hand out niggas around me, cause you ain't gonna never you ain't gonna never set it. Satisfy them. No, nah, if if you ain't a go getter, you ain't go get it yourself. They I don't want you around me. Just want, just want, want a whole bunch of bum ass niggas around me, just waiting for me to do something for them. What the fuck, nah, nigga? You get up, grind, and shit. If you keep working, I might do something for you, but nigga, nah. But I'll put you in position for you to, to you know, make a name for yourself. Hey, you know, come out on concert and perform for the world to see, for the world to you know know who you are, because a lot, a lot of people may not know. So take advantage of this. Perform well, and people might gravitate to you. <laughs> what more do you want? Shit, man. Bum-ass niggas, man. You grown-ass men. We talking about grown men here. We ain't talking about teenagers. I'm sure these men are 30, 40 plus. If they waiting on a handout from another man, fuck out of here. I bet you all these rappers over there, they, they in their 30s, 40s and shit. And you sitting back waiting on Kendrick Lamar to shout you out instead of working and grinding and putting in the work? I don't want to hear that bull. Man, bro, who are you fooling, man? Heck, who are you trying to convince? This shit ain't going to work, man. It would just work to a lame ass dude, right? A, 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 a jealous, bitter, lazy motherfucker may take the bait. But if a man... Uh, prides himself in being a man and making a name from himself and for himself, for him and his family, they're not going to take the bait. They're not going to take the bait. So this shit is just a sad attempt for academics to make people turn against Kendrick because he's not shouting them out. Man, fuck out of here, bro. I don't want no damn shout out from Kendrick, man. Look, look, look. look. Shit. Oh, Kendrick. Hey, yeah, Kendrick. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? This is Kendrick. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to do the pop out tour. I want you to come perform on stage. Oh, shit, for real. Bam. Hey, nigga, it's time to perform. Let me make sure people remember my name by my performance. That's enough. What what more can you uh, ask for? Fuck out of here, man. Don't want to hear that bullshit. I'm not saying this is a bad thing because maybe those guys really don't give a fuck, but I would feel a way. When it's time for you to go win your rap, rap battle and you need to like rely on us. Or not rely, but like you, you need to, you know, use us for the image and the look and the aesthetic. We're there. We need to be in the back doing all for the music video. We're there. But when it's for our project, 
where we're trying to be, we're not even where you're at, you're at. We're just trying to get somewhere close. We can't even get a post, a shout out, a feature, nothing. Yeah, bum ass niggas. Me particularly. I don't want no bum I niggas. I have to give like Kendrick that. credit of how he's rocked the whole West Coast to sleep. Put it like this. When Meek Mill is popping in Philly, and Meek Mill keep using Philly, Philly, Philly as a reference and as a backdrop to how he's coming up, Philly artists are looking at him like, nigga, you gonna act like we not, like, you're using our city that we're all building. You gotta show some love. I have to give Kendrick credit. I think he's rocked all the niggas in the West Coast to sleep, and I don't think he's giving not one of them a feature, not even a shout out. I do think he might bring one of them on tour, though. And it might only be Baby Keem. I think Kendrick is a master for that. That's what I think a master manipulator is. To manipulate y'all to think that supporting him holistically doesn't come with support in reverse. And you shouldn't re uh, expect support in reverse. Not a feature, not a hook, not a nothing. And the only time he shouts somebody out, since he's gathered the Infinity Stones in May, he shouted out an artist that dropped an album that dropped two months ago because she appeared in his Cash App commercial. Kendrick, you a cold motherfucker. And I like it. That's Jay-Z esque. Boy, this dude act is sad, man. This dude act is sad. Well, what an what an act shit. Well, how come you don't you don't put your people in place? Why 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 you don't shout out your people? Like, come on, man. Like, are you required to 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 put all your people? Like, come on, man. Stop, man. Put in the work. You know, you don't want no lazy people around you just to just to uh eat off of you. Now you putting yourself in. A worse position by just giving niggas shit that they don't uh, earn th themselves, right? Any real man don't just want no handout. Shit, crazy man. I like that shit. I like shit, it. crazy. I Put like in that. the work. I always got to respect the moves of a cold, shrewd motherfucker. I like it, Kendrick. Good job, brother. Anyway, <laughs> um. What else crazy. we talking about? Oh, we'll get to the big meat stuff. We're gonna do it right after we do this. What's up, my people from Texas, man? Um, have you guys uh, seen my? Okay, so I think that's it. I think that's it. All right, now, now we're gonna get to act crash, and now this nigga about to crash out for real. All right, so I just wanted to highlight that once again, act is just trying to create division between Kendrick and you know. Definitely the West Coast, right? He just, he just, he just trying to make people jump out the window. He just trying to put plant seeds in 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 people's ear to make it seem like Kendrick ain't rocking for y'all. Y'all over here, you know, speaking up for him, but he ain't speaking up for y'all. Y'all ain't getting no shout outs or nothing like that. So he just trying to make people jump out the window. All right, so yeah, Ak is now. Now we're gonna go on a live stream that he did yesterday, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this yo, I was laughing the entire live stream the way, and he is going to even admit that he creates narratives, right? He purposely creates narratives to confuse people to make people believe the stuff that he's saying is facts, and he has said that plenty of times, right? But so we all know that Kendrick Lamar and SZA just did an interview right but watch how he tried to twist and watch how he tries to turn the interview that he did that that kendrick lamar did with SZA. boy yo he he got yo drake drake made that call look when when uh drake saw that interview with with kendrick and SZA, oh he called he hit the act phone <laughs> No need to fear. Act Man is here. Oh, yeah. This is the first thing he did. Act Man! Yo, I'm telling you. Yo, when that interview came out and Drake seen that interview, and when Kendrick explained what not like us, nah, the first call he made was to act, 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 act. I need you to go live. I need you to, I need you to do what you do best. M make up a whole bunch of bullshit. For people to get mad at Kendrick. All right, just, 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 I don't care what you say. What do you, what do, you do? Just act. Help me. Help me, please. Help me, please. Yeah. 
No need to fear. Act man is here. He's here to save the day. <laughs> Yo, watch this shit, man. I was laughing the whole time, man. 